he used. You can, if you, if you really just like. There is money. He was, he was it. It was him. Without him, it wouldn't be. And I'm sure that you have places like this in Jordan. How does the Jordanian state, um, because you said it's not there, not in the state of refugees, what kind of difference does it make here? Things like that. But public transport, I would, I would say that's really something that shows how rich a country is. My name is Irina Kausch and I'm the deputy head of GIZ representation in Berlin. I'm very pleased to be in Jordan here this year. We um, organized the Photographers' Workshop um, this year in Jordan. And uh, GIZ representation in Berlin started to uh, conduct these photographers' workshops uh, some years ago. And um, we have very good experiences with this workshop, with this kind of workshop, because um, it is an interesting form of um, interpreting, exploring uh, an interesting and relevant topic of GIZ um, work. Um, so we asked, uh, we asked photographers from all over the world to um, see the world and the topic which we have given to them with their view, with their creative professional view. Here in Jordan, the first time with eight photographers from different countries, and I'm a bit following, looking, searching with the photographers together to find pictures, stories, and to tell about this country and about the one Arab country. Um, I'm mostly concentrating on the guys in the refugee camp in Tibia and Wahdat and photographing mostly the guys with her kaftans, with her scarves and different color waves. Like it's, for me, is it more interesting to get into these people and to be with the people than like not to pretend to be a foreigner or something like and working like see what what it is exactly like when they're wearing scarves with black and pink colorways or is it more style thing or traditional or a political thing and um, I want to see how this for the people are like طرح علي بعض الأصدقاء اللي إلي في عمان إنه أعمل قصة عن العراقيين المسيحيين المهجرين اللي وصلوا عمان بداية نصف شهر ثمانية هاي السنة 2014 ممكن الصور بتبين إنه الناس مبتسمة وشوية إنه مرتاحين في مكان الإقامة بس مش شرط الصورة تحمل كدش المآسي الداخلية للناس هاي يعني ممكن خلف هاي الابتسامة كثير حاملين هموم. I wanted to take pictures of like uh, mothers and daughters in their living rooms and like group pictures of a family style and so I was trying to find a lot of contacts on the internet and I tried to find some on the street but because of the weather that was a bit complicated but um, yesterday I started with my project and the first I went to a family of friends of mine in Palestine and I took a picture there with a mother and the daughter and actually two daughters and a granddaughter as well. اختيار الموضوع كان شيء صعب لانه ما نعرف البلد ويعني شيء هذا يتطلب 
بالنسبه لي شيء يتطلب وقت اكثر و يعني اخيرا كان كان الموضوع اللي اخترته هو اني اعمل على على الكتابات والرسومات الشعبيه يعني المتواجده على على المدينه على عمان When we first arrived here in Amman, I was um, immediately taken by the, the architecture of Amman and the way the cityscape is shaped. It's very different from Berlin and, and European cities. And um, I first decided to, to work on architecture and, and document um, the way it works here. But after a while, I found out that maybe what's more interesting is um, the shapes of pretty much everything here because it's it's like I said very different from from Europe and the way for me to deal with that was to go out at night or, or at e in the evening when there was no sun anymore and when everything is black and to use a flash to light up the object that I was interested in and that way you get <laughs> <laughs> and I'm taking photos of women in a woman's center in a refugee camp in Amman Printed, so I'm just finished with all the work, my work, and I think all the other students are finished as well. So now we're just editing and trying to uh, make it a nice series to work. And um, this time I came and I had no idea what I want to do. I wanted to spend more time to get to know the city and understand more about it. Um, I started looking online of uh, who actually built the city and who were the first people to settle down. And um, I realized that um, there's this group of people that I've always heard about, but I never really understood where they came from or who they actually are, uh, the Circassians. I'm Elsie Haddad. I came to the workshop Transformation Workshop Transformation. هالمرة بالأردن مثل ما كلهم يعني ما بتعرفوا بقى كان صعب شوي كمان لأنه ما بنعرف البلد يعني ولا أنا ولا حدا من هون عن يعني جد بيعرف البلد تنقي التوبك تبعنا شو قررت بالآخر روح على الصحراء واشتغل على الصحراء اشتغلت على هذا الموضوع يعني أنا كنت رايحة عم نبش على شو معقول اشتغل بدي الصحراء يمكن البدو يمكن ما كنت عارفة ما عندك فكرة واضحة وبالآخر أي أند أب عم بشتغل على هاو ذا سيتي إز لايك جيتينج إنتو Oh, the desert is fading out with the city. This one, this one. This one in the middle. And now this is a... Yeah. But I actually love that as like a second picture. And there's a like wall. Where you can actually walk around, it's like, why is that wall? I think it's nice, and let's leave it positive. We started to organize these workshops. Uh, in order to get another view on the world, on the topic. My picture, I love the most, is this one. The look, he's hiding, and it talks a lot, and you can go to every picture we have more. It's not about profession or technique, it's about life. So you have to open a lot of yourself to show to the other that you can receive and to give. And there were no limits, and it was, this was amazing, but it works. All, there's no border, there's no difference between how you clothe or to whom you believe, whatever. This makes no sense. We're talking about photography and everybody was so open-minded and so heartful. This is, I think, the most touchy thing, and I hope that the picture will, will transmit this. <laughs>